Well, I started off in business in 1986. I was 23. And at the time when I started off, I would have been very, very sceptical about everything that was said to me about any particular business. So if I was looking at a business or looking at a shop or looking at whatever, uh, I'd be very sceptical about what the estate agent said. I'd be very sceptical about what the vendor of the business or shop said to me. I'd be very sceptical about everything that was uh, represented or warranted to me. And if it turned out that my scepticism was well-placed and justified, well then I was right, obviously, and I was justified in that, and I wasn't going and making this stupid, rash decision about making an investment. However, if I wasn't right in my scepticism, then obviously I was going to be even better off than uh, otherwise, because clearly my scepticism wasn't justified, and the representations and blandishments that were being made to me were actually true and were justified, which is fair enough. But by being sceptical and by treating representations and statements made to me with a huge degree of caution, a huge dose of salt, then I was in a strong position because, as I say, if it turned out that they were true, well and good, and if it turned out that they weren't true, it didn't make any difference because I never believed them in the first instance. But nowadays, I don't know whether it's nowadays or whether perhaps I was ultra sceptical as a young lad, uh, ultra cautious. Maybe I was born with some uh, street smarts or some level of, uh, you know, caution and scepticism about business and about what people might say to you. But nowadays I come across a frightening number of people who believe everything they're told, quite frankly. They're going to go into business of some description. They are going to uh, take on a business, take over a business, buy a shop, start a business, and they listen to what they're being told by the vendor, by the estate agent, by whoever, and they believe it all, which, as I say, absolutely baffles me. The level and the degree of naivete that I see in people coming to me looking for advice about going into business and so on is just incredible. And the biggest job that I have is actually saving them from themselves. In other words, saving them from making some ridiculous, absurd, ludicrous decision to hand over money for something in circumstances where it's far too early, far too premature, or they listen to everything that the vendor is saying to them and accepting it as true and, and, and uh, swallowing it hook, line and sinker. Or if there's an estate agent or somebody else involved, they believe it all. If you're going to go into business, then you need a healthy degree of scepticism. You need to verify and carry out your due diligence and not naively rush in to uh, commercial decisions which may come back to haunt you. And the purpose of this video is simply to flag up the danger that I see regularly when people come to me, they're going to start their own business and they have a very trusting, very naive, very gullible sort of an attitude. And quite frankly, that may be uh, appealing and agreeable in some ways, but from the point of view of doing business, it's not the smartest approach. You really do need to carry out your due diligence, to test statements, to get to the bottom of them, to do your own research, to unpack whatever is being said to you, and to carry out, as I say, your due diligence from a legal perspective and an accounting perspective if you can, and so on and so forth. But if anything, you take anything from this video, if you're going to go into business, if you're going to take over business, and if you're just starting out, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. People who've had a tough time in business and have now an opportunity to sell it on are going to make certain statements and certain representations that may well be, to put it mildly, exaggerated. Sometimes they'll be playing on truths and sometimes they'll be downright lies. But if you're going to start a business, if you're going to take on a business, uh, tread carefully, proceed with caution and uh, don't believe uh, the representations or warranties or statements that are made to you 
make sure that you carry out your due diligence, that you test the statements and you uh, do your own research and make your own inquiries. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.